Okay, wait, wait. All right, let's go. This is the story of love. Come on. The love for a pet. All right. And the power that can have okay. in someone's life. This is a place if you're feeling depressed at all, come to the dog park and get some doggy juju. Brandy Algren didn't grow up with that love. But the moment she met Scout. Yeah, I call myself a dog parent. Like all good love stories, her life soon changed. It was, you know, love at first sight and really the inspiration behind City Dog Magazine. Being a brand new pet parent, I didn't know where to go, where the closest dog park was, what to feed her. The wheels started turning and Brandy saw an opportunity. Or shouldn't there be this information all in one location that's updated on a quarterly basis? And so 10 years ago, this is the very first issue of City Dog Magazine. City Dog Magazine was born. You know, being the first issue, I mean, I think, I think it turned out pretty well, but we've definitely have evolved. This is the most recent copy. Kind of the Sunset Magazine of dog magazines, beautiful photography, lots of travel features, really about life and living with your dog in the Northwest. From recommendations on doggy daycare, to lists of dog-friendly hotels, to the best products for your pooch, and local dog-loving events, they've got you covered. The fact alone that there are more dogs in Seattle households than children. And we already had a, 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 a magazine for parents in the Seattle area, so why not a magazine for dog parents in the Seattle area? After about a year in, this love story got serious. Brandy quit her PR job and hasn't looked back. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> not having ever laid out a magazine before and coming out with your first issue and just going for it, taking the risk and... Um, saying, I may not really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Her readership has grown along with the cities they cover, Seattle, Portland, and San Francisco. Always rate as the top three dog friendliest cities in the country. Mm -hmm. So of course, and they're all based on the West Coast. And um, so it just was a natural fit. With a strong online presence, the quarterly magazine has an average of 30,000 readers, including many at Brandy's own local West Seattle dog park. Because not everyone has kids, and but our pets are our kids, right? <laughs> Her name's Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> She's obnoxious. And need more ideas to go uh, take the dogs out for fun. Uh, Ruben. There's Ruben. I think I've been a subscriber for at least six years. Travel, wine, and city dog. What else does anybody need? Not much, except maybe a few more cities. There's Los Angeles, there's San Diego, there's Vancouver, BC. Um, it's been exciting to see how City Dog has been accepted in the community. She handles everything but the sales, the design, the layout, and the cover. This is my favorite cover photo. This is Scout. And that was about a year before she passed. The action, the frolic, the actual lucky shot that this was of her, you know, um, running through the snow. And probably the last time she was that agile. It was a senior at that time, she was about 10 years old. Although Scout is no longer with her, Brandy's love story continues to be written, with thousands more reading it every year. I absolutely love it, you know, and, and loving what you do is so important, I wouldn't change a thing. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.